Okay, hi seventh and eighth graders. It's Mrs. Abel here. I'm just about to go home and I wanted to create a couple lessons for you online. We are going to be doing expressive lines. And this is one of my examples. It's one of my favorite projects that I've been doing for years. And it's gonna be excellent for you guys to do it at home. So I'm pretty excited to show you how to do it. All you need is a piece of paper and a marker or one of your nicest pens. So here's a step, you're going to draw a circle, you're going to create um, nine different patterns inside that circle, and then you just create nine different contrasting patterns. So I'll show you how to do it. love to create different lines so if it's a zigzag next to something that is organic and light so if we have a nice wavy line and then have something contrasting next to it and then having something very soft and organic I think that makes some really interesting patterns and then maybe a hard line like that so we got one two three four five six Seven. And you can always make more. Eight, nine. I think I did nine. Okay, so now inside you can just have fun. Creating different patterns inside every I would never put the same pattern. So I wouldn't put two circles next to another pattern that has two circles. And what I really love doing is mixing up the value. So if this has um, a lot of black and white, I would maybe make polka dots that has like a solid black in there. Now with pen, you can get really intricate with your designs and create a lot of contrasting value with just your, your, with your pen. So that will look really beautiful. And this, this should take you probably a good hour. And the circle should be as large as your dinner plate, so you can go get a circular dinner plate in your house um, or um, a, a table mat. So hopefully you have something in, around the house that you can draw a nice, good, um, complete circle um, and then create your gorgeous patterns, okay? Good luck. Stay safe. I'm going to miss you so much, okay? Take care of yourself.